Okay, so this is my first time making an IGTV video, but I asked the other day if you guys wanted to see a skincare routine or a makeup routine, and you guys chose the skincare. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my skincare routine, and this is what I do in the morning, throughout the day, like whenever I just randomly do it, and um, at night before I go to sleep. Well, at least I try to keep up with it, but um, I obviously don't have any makeup on right now and I don't usually start with a bare face you can it works either way but whenever I'm not wearing makeup I just do it works the same way or when I wear I am wearing makeup it also works the same way so I am going to go ahead and start with Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel it's like cleansing gel looks like this it also removes makeup and removes makeup and impurities. So, so whenever I use this, I just like just use that much. And of course, I wash my face with water first. I use not hot, not cold. I like mild temperature water. Sorry, this is like <laughs> weird. I've never done a video like this before, but yeah, I just put my face first and then I wish wet my hands and make it foamy and then I scrub circular motion like this. I should have used the stand, but yeah, it just helps take off makeup so you can put this on top of your eyes like I do this. Ah, it kind of stings your eyes, but it helps take off your makeup. I use this to take off my makeup. I don't really use face wipes to remove makeup because they like irritate my skin, but this gel has really helped me remove my skin since I have like sensitive skin. That's a thing about me, I have sensitive skin and a lot of new products, if I use new products, it like will irritate my skin, but Neutrogena has been my favorite so far, and that's the brand I use a lot. Um, so I washed my face off with the cleansing gel. I'm going to turn off the music this way. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm going to turn off the music. Um, I used that first, which I just washed it off. And it leaves my skin really nice. It takes off my makeup completely. And then after I do that, <laughs> I have like a lot of steps. If you use like, after I use this, I use the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. It's, make sure it says face and body. I use it, I use the one that says face and body because you would have to make sure it says for your face. So, otherwise it will make your skin break out. So the same thing as I did for the first one, I just pump out woo, like that. This one doesn't foam up, so this one doesn't foam, so it just looks like clear. But I just use this and like do my forehead and my neck. I usually do this in the shower, so it's kind of hard. Ugh, sorry. And I put it on my nose especially, where I usually have imperfections. And I wash my face. So it's kind of hard to like show my, show me washing my face. But it's really easy. To have like the skincare routine, you just have to keep up with it. So I use this first, Neutrogena and Cetaphil, which is other my my other favorite brand. And then after I use those two, I go in with a deep clean purifying cooling gel scrub, and it looks like this. Sorry, my arm looks weird. And this one has like the little scrub scrubby thingies, like. I don't know how to describe it, but like it has like those little bubbles, and I use about that much. This is my favorite part. I don't know why, but I like to 
first wet my skin, my skin's already wet, and then I grab that much and I split it, and then I just scrub my face. I try to be gentle around the areas that I don't break out. Whenever I do break out, I don't like scrub too hard, like on the more sensitive areas, like on my cheeks. My chin I do kind of break out on, so I, I like scrub a little bit more pressure there, but not a lot. Do not like, like jam it into your skin because you will hurt your skin. And on my nose, I like rub it a lot. On my cheek, and that's what I do. And I do over here on my neck. I always do my neck for everything. I use my neck. I just feel like it's a spot a lot of people miss. And my forehead, I do this too. And I just sit here and massage my face for like a couple of minutes, not too long, like a minute maybe. And I just scrub it. Especially the areas where I know it's more hard to like keep clean. Like here, on here, and on my forehead, and around my nose. And this part here too, the tip of my nose. And then my chin. And then I want to go with water. And rinse off. I like look like a and go. I and then I just rinse it off. I usually do it in the shower, so it's really hard. Sorry. I'm trying my best. And I just wash my face off really, really well with water. That's another thing. This is like, make sure you get every piece of soap off or soap particles, whatever it's called. Okay. Okay. Then, so far I have used the Hydro Boost Cleansing Gel. Then I use the Gentle Skin Cleanser. This I use to take off makeup and I just start off, even if I have a bare face, I use this first. Then I use this in case this missed anything. I use this just to cleanse your skin. It doesn't foam, so it's more like fast. I just put that on fast and wash off quickly. And then I went with the scrub which I exfoliated my skin. I focus mainly on my nose around here, on my chin here where I usually like have little breakouts, and then up on my forehead here. My T-bone or T-zone, not T-bone, T-bone thing. And then my cheeks, I'm more gentle with. And then, so those are the first three I've used so far. Then after that, I used 